How's it going YouTube? I got a good one here. This is a 1988 Mazda 323 GTX Turbo four-wheel drive. The body is all original from factory. They only made 1,243 of these GTXs for America between 1988 and 1989. This makes the second GTX I've had, so the chances of me owning two of these has been rare, and obviously I beat the odds. Since a lot of these cars are no longer running, they're beat up, they've been driven hard, uh, they just completely been junked because, you know, they just are too old. Back then when Obama wanted to clash for clunkers, they were offering you some money for trade-in your clunkers, so a lot of these were taken off of the street. Not saying per se this Mazda GTX, that's why we don't see a lot of these old cars on the road anymore because they're just falling apart or they just got taken out completely so what's happening is that these older cars are appreciating in value one because they're hard to find two because they're becoming classics and three because they don't make them like they used to anymore so when you have a 31 year old vehicle that's running perfectly fine you can daily drive it there's no issues with it and in fact that this car was made for rallying so it is fast it's made with 134 horsepower but it is boosted with my boost controller to a lot more horsepower especially with the cold air intake and exhaust and other little things there to make it more powerful roughly we're pushing around 170 horsepower on this 2000 600 pound car it is completely fun to drive i get looks everywhere when i go i have a lot of people giving me the thumbs up and people will give me comments as in i haven't seen that car in forever it's a very unique car although they made a lot of 323 regular base models that were just two wheel drives so this mazda gtx was a subaru before subaru as I said, this GTX does not need any work to be a daily driver. And in this part of the video, you can see I'm showing you the interior. Everything still cranks, pops open, seals up, no leaks anywhere. It's just a perfectly capable running car. And I live in Oregon, up here in the Portland metro area. And it is always raining like seven to eight months. I'm being generous. Seven to eight months a year and this sits outside. If I was concerned about the rain, I wouldn't leave it outside. And the time right now is fall, it is October. The interior is all original, even the seats. The driver's side is the most ripped. That's how I bought it. I am not the first owner. I'm the third owner of this vehicle. All around the car, I use the same key to open the glove box, the rear hatch, the doors, it all works. I have spare keys as well. And as you keep watching, I'm gonna blabber more about some specs and likes about me having this vehicle. So this hatchback has lots of cargo room. You can bring down the seats. Underneath the seats is where the tank is and the fuel pump and that tank holds 12.7 gallons. There's enough space in the back seats for two more people. You can cram three people. Two is just where you wanna have at least four people total in your vehicle, five squishing it. If you have long-legged people sitting in the front. What's under the hood is a 1.6 liter 16 valve turbo engine. I have a simple cold air intake. There is some upgraded hoses and other little parts like the intercooler, the radiator, other valves there for its maintenance, obviously. For a 1988 vehicle, you'd think there'd be a lot of rust, but there isn't. This is just surface stuff that is not going to affect or rot or hurt anything. It's currently sitting on adjustable coilovers. We have a nice sounding exhaust and sway bars. Let's start and listen to the engine. The jingle is a turbo timer starts every time boost control power steering I found a shaded area so I can show you the lights and again listen to that purr smooth always starts no problem This is the running lights, turning on the headlights, and there's the hazards for the blinkers. Now the backside, tail lights all work, pretty bright. That's the running lights, hazards. And this is what it sounds like when you're driving in the car. As you can see the RPM, 45 miles per hour. Pretty quiet ride. Now taking off. 
That's what it sounds like, a low gear. Shifting. Now I'm gonna be climbing a steep hill and this takes it with no problem. You're never gonna have a problem climbing a hill and feeling the acceleration through curves. And I always find it cool that you can hear the turbo. And for some last comments about this GTX, I get 20 miles to the gallon in the city, 27 on the highway. Again, these cars are hard to find and they're only gonna appreciate in price. I have four totes of extra parts like transmission, the manifold, the turbos, calipers, engine wires, a whole lot of extra spare parts just in case it needs it. If you find one of these GTXs, expect to pay over $3,000, they will range up to $7,000. And as it gets older, it's gonna become a collector car and it's gonna appreciate even more. You never know how high it's gonna get once you have one of these last vehicles running. And I have to say, I take care and treat this car to last. Alrighty, thank you for watching and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.